and we are live. For some reason, my stream scared the shit out of my friend. <laughs> that is a great way. That is a great way to start this. Oh yeah, dude, my st your stream just scared the fuck out of me. Like, that is an amazing way to start this. Finally, shh, air that I'm streaming. Major, I'm going in unprofessional industry to. I'm not breathing, dude. That's my. Never mind. I don't know why you're saying I'm breathing. I know! I know I'm live! I'm not stupid! Let me share this to everyone. Let's see if we can find creator content in this chat. Okay. Uh, right now, I'm just sharing this to everyone. make sure all of B-Trade Studios knows I'm live streaming. Let me, uh, let me <laughs> send a link to my development chat. Uh, here we go. I gotta call Major. He wants to get in on the commentary. What's up? Hey! What's going on, man? Eh, you wanted to get in on the commentary, so I just invited you. I am playing Stellaris, for those of you who yeah. do not know. Yes. You know, people who are going to see this, it's like a 30 second delay, if not yeah. like two I minutes. That's, that's I, horrible. I can't change it. Like, OBS Dude, that, is, that's, that's why people OBS go to Twitch, is, man. It's OB- no, it's actually OBS, it's not YouTube, it's OBS stuck on a fucking setting, and it won't let me change it. 
horse shit, dude. I, I, dude, my other friend Link of Legend, he's streaming right now. Um, streaming anime like Fire Emblem or whatever. He he Fucking was he managed to fix his delay. I he had a pretty bad delay before as well when I first started watching his streams, and it was like yeah, I just gotta figure it shit. out. Yeah. Hey, more shields. Um, cold fusion powers. You do need that. Now, I'm gonna warn everyone, right now. These fucking <laughs> fractal Fulgore Pursuit Frigates. Are... What the fuck? They're overpowered, okay? We're gonna use... I thought you just called me some strange alien name for a second. No, I mean, I could tell you whatever the fuck... Pa my... Papa Fat Water Doggo. <laughs> I mean, I have some weird alien names right here. Jesus Christ. So let me go into my ship designer since we have better shields now. Uh, yeah. Now, you so may how, hear. Is this like you continue with like the last world you were streaming? Because I haven't really, I don't really watch your streams that much, actually. It's like the first one I've actually caught. Um. Well, the last one I streamed, um. It's basically, um, what, what, I, like, are you doing a series out of the stream? Are you doing a series out of the streams, or is he just like I'm randomly doing a off the wall? Out of the stream. Oh, okay. Is what I'm doing. It confused so, uh, me for a second. I was confusing what you said. That's like featuring unprofessional industry. Huh? What did you say? I said it confused me what you said. Huh? Should I randomly? Should I randomly just make shag off? I don't think so. Let me get vitality boosters. I don't want to go Lovecraftian right now. That's for my, that's for my other alien species. Cthulhu! Cthulhu! Actually, you mean a lot Summon of Cthulhu. Summon Cthulhu. You see a lot of Cthulhu looking motherfuckers. Really? Yeah. That's strange. Now, for those of you. Who maybe have wanted me to go to war with this faction right here. I'm sorry, but there's just no way we can fucking get to them. We have to go so far fucking around. Like, I'm gonna pause this, right? And if I want to get to them... Look at that. I, You know, I wish I could see what you were doing, but... Um, I'm like 20 minutes behind. <laughs> yeah, again, I can't figure out how to fix that. I wish I could. Yeah. But at the same time, even a lot of YouTubers have the same stream delay I do. Yeah. Hey, should I should I plug my channel? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you will let me though, I probably will because I only have like 15, 14 subscribers now. No, why, Jason? No. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking saying my real name, I asshole. I saw that. I saw that. I saw Fucking that. idiot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just don't Damn want me. everyone knowing my real name. I wanted to actually, like, try and reach out and... Oh, great background noise. I think he's sleeping. Wake him up. Ah. Uh, a professional prof ah, Professor Dumblecunt. That's what he's called. His name is Professor Dumblecunt. <laughs> yeah. That's what we call My him. My name is Major. Yeah, we have Professor Dumblecunt in the chat. Good friend of mine. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to be right back. Alright. You be right back. I'm gonna sit here and do my shitty commentary. Wait, what? We're okay. Approached by a delegation from a subterranean alien species. God damn it! Again? Seems their empire has fallen on hard times recently, and they are facing the threat of famine. They're pleading with us to provide assistance. Of course, we'll provide assistance. They have 10k energy credits. The fuck! Do we have 10k energy credits? <laughs> Oh. 
Let's see if we can find... There aren't many habitable planets. There are barren worlds, but they give us nothing. There's a savanna there. Oh, we can't go in there. Oh, yeah, yay. <laughs> we can't actually go there. Because for some reason, alien I'm vessels. Back. Yeah, for some reason, alien vessels have to be right there. And I want to kill them really badly. Because I want to kill them. You want to kill them really badly? Because they're fucking oh. sitting above a fucking habitable planet. We are safeguarding this habitable planet. I wonder if that's what's happening with Earth. Like they're being, or if we're being safeguarded from the rest of the universe be, just because of how <laughs> advanced we weaponry we are. I, I bet we have lasers, like space lasers, already. We're just not using them. <laughs> like just, no, they just isolate us because they don't want stupidity to breed. It's just like, well, then why have they wiped us out yet? Come on. Maybe they have some ethics laws or something. Yeah. <laughs> then again, that will be some stupidity right there. Maybe, maybe they just need a human to um, consent for the as a representative for the entire human race for utter annihilation. Yeah. There's an anonymous human saying, "I consent to the obliteration of my entire of my entire species." I do it. <laughs> Me too. As long as you, as long as you uh, spare a couple of people, the rest of them can go die yeah. though. Just kill the stupid people that always try to be wannabe thugs, and then we'll be oh. fine. And then they'll respond with like, "Okay, we'll we'll do that." Obliterate the entire planet. That's exactly what they want. That they're all stupid people. <laughs> stupid cannot bleed. Breed. Just kill them already. Yes, the stupid can bleed. It's not. No, I, I, I'm trying. My fucking stutter got me. I'm sorry. That's actually a pretty good pun, to be honest. The stupid can bleed. They can't breed. <laughs> yes. They have to bleed, but they can't breed. <laughs> they can bleed for all I care. I like how the fucking cats are messing with the door. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm sitting here trying to stream, and there's cats over, like, fucking sticking their paws out of the door and fucking with the door. <laughs> Quit fucking with the door! <laughs> That's why I only have one cat and it's in Speaking my room. Speaking of which, how is everyone doing? It's nice to I'm see doing fantastically, least, thank you. It's nice to see a couple people that stream. Usually I don't get many viewers on these until after the fucking stream. And then everyone's all over them. Yeah. <laughs> what? Isn't it like Saturday night or something? No one's yeah. doing anything on a Saturday night. They can, they can watch their... Friendly neighborhood, let's play or pop a walrus, play some Stellaris. No, alright, um, fucking double cunt call it Stellaris. Who's P Professor Dumble cunt? Where? Um, that's Terra Nova in the chat. Also, um. Why did he just change his name then? That's just what we nickname him. Oh, okay. I, um, I salute you, Professor Dumble cunt. I'm sorry. Prof Professor, Mr. Professor Dumbleton Senior, but um, <laughs> I think uh, two people is enough for a Stellaris commentary. Mr. Doctor Professor Dumbleton. <laughs> <laughs> That's Professor, Mr. Doctor Professor Patrick, PhD. <laughs> to you. Uh, you repeated that, Patrick? No kidding. <laughs> that couldn't have been a joke. You know, this is why I like Canadians. They're smart enough to realize that it might be just on the off chance, it just might be a fucking joke. Uh, how is our you research know, though. going? We have 103 months remaining on our cold fusion, 92 months 
on our vitality boosters and 73 months on our fractal ship research chain. You know, this is the kind of shit I'd put in the background if I was ever, like, discussing quantum physics on my channel. <laughs> now, like, currently... let's just see, let's try to make rocket fuel at the desk. Come on, we need a lava lamp, we need a cell phone, and we need an entire, need and we lamp. need... To mix it in, obviously. We need a lava lamp, we need your cell phone, and we also need all, the, all your credit card information. Now, we have a cruiser... <laughs> Two destroyers and twelve corvettes, which is one k fleet power. That is not a big fleet. I mean, so he's asking if he can jump in and cause mayhem. Yeah, but... I don't know. I was only really prepared to talk no, to my fellow saved. asshole here. No, we say <laughs> I show? was only really prepared to talk to my fellow asshole here. I didn't really. I didn't yeah. really prepare myself for anything too serious. You see, this YouTube channel is made by an asshole for assholes. Oh, so everyone's a collective asshole. We're all part of the big asshole tree, collected <laughs> to all the asshole roots. <laughs> and all the asshole apples. It tastes kind of salty. We're all hairs on the asshole. <laughs> uh. We're all miniature assholes. We're all microscopic miniature assholes on, like, a giant larger asshole. We're like sarlacc pits on people's anuses. No, we're all co we're all collective uh, skid marks on the underwear of <laughs> elementary school children. <laughs> uh, wait, I did not send my stream to Armco. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, next Tuesday or Monday night, uh, I might be on Gemini stream. Ooh, that would be cool to see. Yeah, man. I'm going to talk about the fact that uh, at Walmart, I, I work at Walmart, right? So, earlier that day, earlier today, in fact, I was like 20 minutes into my shift. I was going out, going to get cars. I just, I ha I, ha I was about to cross the street, the strip street. I am going to cross the street, <laughs> and I look up off over on one you. of the car corrals, and I see a bike perched directly on top of one of the car corrals. It's like sitting up there in the big blue box. <laughs> I saw the it's picture like... of that in the chat. Yeah, that was. I was like, what the <laughs> My second thought was, that's kind of practical, if you don't want your stuff to get stolen. I mean, they'll need a ladder at that point. That's not even worth it. You know, the first I, I the first thing I thought was like that's perched up there like a fucking pigeon. Okay, I love how this black hole is really creepily called the screeching abyss. Is it, it in sounds the like your soul? Is it in the is it in the twenty third nebula? Cthulhu, is that you? Cthulhu. <laughs> There are a bunch of Lovecraft references I can make that I don't think anyone would get. <laughs> well, yeah. What are some of the weird things you've seen at Walmart? Mind you, I've seen some pretty weird um, shit at Walmart just as well, a fucking customer. Where where do we get? Where do we begin? <laughs> okay, there was one day, uh, right? Uh, it, it was sort of a collective weekend. It was just a bad weekend for me. It was the first day without. Here's here's what happened the first day. I don't remember the second day. Um, what happened the first day is <laughs> there was a there was a guy outside. He he was smoking weed. We're in Oregon. We're allowed to smoke weed, just not outside. And people are very passionate when you start breaking the laws about weed. It makes everyone else in the entire state look bad that way. So this dude like caught a whiff with this other dude caught a whiff of what the first dude was smoking. And then tur turned to him and was like, dude, put that out. And, he, and then the stoner was like, no, no, I'm going to smoke weed on the spot right here. And they straight up gotten a fist fight over it, dude. They brought it into the store. It would crash and everything. <laughs> the dude, like, the stoner won for some reason. Like the, but he still went to jail. The, st the stoner went to jail. Uh, yeah. Because not only did he swing first, but... He was also smoking weed in an illegal area.
Yeah, I feel like there would have been there like are there were much other ways to handle. It. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, and oh yeah, now I remember what happened the second day. Sorry, um, what happened to the second day was entirely different. I had to do with my coworker. So he was he was in charge of one cart bay. I was me and my me and my other people are in charge of the other one, and the two people on on one side, we were having a pretty busy day and. They both went to break on the same time, and by the time I went over there to try and, you know, like, it, it was whatever. It's like, they probably have a pretty good cart bay if they want to go and break at the same time. I walk in there, and you know what I see? I mm. see six carts in that bay. And mind you, it's a big, long grocery bay. It's supposed to have, like, a, like 300 in there or something. It's six. Matt, uh, there's a bay in that frontier outpost. No, no, I'm not done with the story yet. I was more, I'm yeah. pausing for dramatic effect. I, I um, know, I just had to disable our frontier outpost so I can have, um, some influence. Okay, so, um, I, I was kind of pissed off, but I, I kind of, I didn't really get it at the time, but I still went and got some carts and tried to fill up that cart as quickly as possible. They were eating through them as I was putting them in there, so I had, like, two other people. The other side was letting me get carts from that side as well, trying to do my best to get that set back up and running. We were, like, like a machine. These dudes come back, and one of them feels kind of sorry for it and tries to help out as much as he can. The other dude, though, he's like, mind you, he's oh like boy. seven feet tall. Oh he's boy. like seven feet tall and 18 years old. He was on the side that he didn't fuck up. That had four rows. He was doing, he was alone over there. We go I think you there. told me the story. Is this the fucker who tried to, like, continue? No, no, no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Do. There are people watching. The, the people watching, let me finish. Um, it's also for them. <laughs> and then I, I go over there. The dudes, the dudes, as I said, the dude sitting in the cart, cart bay and whatever. And I go over there. He's like, "Dude, can you come help out with the mess you made?" And he gets up, walks over to me, and says, uh, "I don't think it takes four people to." Uh, what was it? Fill that cart bay up. And I was, I looked at him like, excuse me. And he proceeded to tell me like, as you can see, I'm doing my job in this cart bay here. Why don't you go and do yours? And I'm like, bitch, excuse me. I think you told me the story before. You have a lot yeah, more yeah, patience than you. me. You know for a fact right. you have a lot more patience than me. And you know for a fact I would have punched him for it. I looked right, I looked right up at him. Cause he's like seven feet tall or something like that. I look right up at him and I'm like, I'm locked in the room. I look at him at, right up at him and was like, Eat a bag of dicks, you pretentious cunt. And then he went, he knew I would, he, I looked him right in the eye too. I wasn't scared of that bean pole, dude. No. He was and basically he, he like, he was basically like, like trying to fight an NBA basketball player. Yeah, it's like, you know, if I hit your ankles right now, you, you'd be. You, you'd be on the floor? No. No, 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 I'm not talking about you. I'm talking oh. to the type, metaphorical version of this person in my mind. Yeah, because I was confused. I'm like, what? Like, this dude's like seven feet tall. Like, he probably has a lot of he bad b blood circulation, so his heart's weak. And he yeah. has long legs. And he's very, you know, slender and whatever. So, I was thinking out in my head and be like, you know, I could probably just uppercut him in the nuts. But I could also take out his legs. Oh yay, my, my political leader died. Now we have to have an election. Hmm. Engineering, society. Wait. You like me. Station I, bill cost. Secure the borders. Trump, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> that you, Trump? My family won't risk it. Uh, he didn't get he elected. Damn worse. it, no Hillary got erected. This <laughs> is. Erected? Hillary got elected. erected? Elected. Is this some uh, xenomorph hentai gun on here? <laughs> call Link a legend. Everyone call Link a legend. <laughs> call Link. Yeah. We, we got some Hillary yeah, was actually able to, Hillary was actually able to get something from her husband for once, if you know what I mean. <laughs> know what I mean? I know what you mean. I do. Mm -hmm. Funny joke. <laughs> Not funny, that joke was. <laughs> Kill yourself, you should. 
And oh, my yeah. suffering, you shall also do. No, what's funny is, um, last stream I had, right? Last Duck Game stream I had. I had to yeah. keep, I had to keep trying to, like, keep my friends in check. Because I didn't want to fucking end up on an episode of Drama Alert. Oh, fuck. The amount of times they said the word <laughs> autistic. As they were going to re I can imagine Keemstar. I had to keep them that. saying I had to keep them from saying the N word. I know I, they would have. Yeah, right. <laughs> Cause no one if you've seen my videos, it's more. I made it. My newest video actually is. Uh, I don't. I'm not doing this for money. It's semicolon. Fuck demonetization. Yeah, but I at the same the time, time it's not demonetization. Reason, not... It's not demonetization. For... I'm worried about. It's fucking having to do with fucking keep Keemstar. Keemstar. That if that's your biggest concern on YouTube, you're well off. No, really though. Or I'm even worse, sure having to fucking Star's... deal with um fucking Leafy is clear. I'm just waiting for rags to uh, come up, um, come up on drama alert one of these days. We've already got Sargon of Akkad. We're we're just rags is just like a, about a month away. <laughs> he's already got he's got like two hundred thousand subscribers too. He's, no, he I need influence. Game why? I need influence to colonize this planet. Why do you think I'm here? I'm an asshole. Buy assholes for assholes. I want a game that's made like that. Just, could, just like it's. Have just you like seen uh, Shadow Warrior? <laughs> yes, I have. I haven't played it personally, but I've seen Let's Plays. I, I I have it on my computer downloaded right now, and I'm I'm gonna tell you right now, it is buy assholes for assholes. It's made oh, yeah. by Devolver Digital. So the whole buy assholes part is definitely true. I mean, the main character's name is Lo Wang. Yes, Lo Wang. <laughs> and yeah. his catchphrase is, you want some Wang? This is too much Wang for you to handle. The worst part is that was a perfect impression. That was I like just, I tried extra hard to be really, really Asian about it. <laughs> yeah, you had to be like the racist Asian sounding guy, because that's all like fucking See, Wang the is. the thing is... Only Japanese people can't say the L sound. Because Chinese people have it in their language. I mean, Lo Wang? Come on, man. Yeah, but you just have to be stereotypically Asian about it. You have to be really yeah, racistly Asian. Racist. I imagine you commenting on one of my videos. The fucking shit. It's just like making an account separate from like the fucking as like the shadow character. <laughs> Yeah, um, the Shadow Warrior character and just commenting on my video. You want some Wang? <laughs> you got Wang. So when are you gonna be playing the uh, Dark Souls series? Oh, Dark Souls. Uh, I think I'm gonna be playing it next week on Thursday. Next week. Hmm. I don't know. Kind of depends. I don't know which one are you I starting out with. Are you starting out with the one that Pudge is in, or...? <laughs> I'm starting out in one. I'm doing the Dark Souls series. Alright. I don't I don't care if the, none of the games have anything to do with each other. I just want to play them like that because I want to see what they improved on. I'm, I'm more interested in a gameplay perspective on that regard. Well, what what the thing is, it's, it's not that they um, have nothing to do with each other. It's just it's... they're in different eras, yeah? Yeah. The different versions of the uh, Age of Fire. Yeah. And the Age of Darkness. Yeah. Age of Dark, as it was. Yeah, I now, actually read up on the I'll War of Dark you. Souls. It's quite interesting. Oh, yeah, it is. I'll warn you. The ending of Dark Souls 3 is dark. <laughs> well, like, I would assume so. It's worse, than all, of, it's worse than all the evil endings. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, I might have to look out for that. By the way, if you have, if if you have anything to uh, say about like whether what what I should be doing in my with Dark Souls Let's Play, just add the hints in the extra channel I made on my Discord. Well, or one thing I'm gonna give you: look for exploits of the bosses. If you see a weak point where you could shoot at a boss from where you are, you might want to do that. Yeah, I also kind of hate the dragon. 
you know, the dragon on the bridge, uh, just yeah. uh, just past the Taurus demon. It's either you go first off, you see a giant bridge with undead. You're like, eh, I think I'll pull up, hold off on that before. It, well, I talk to Solera of a store over here. Praise the sun. Let us gaze at the sun together before I get inevitably roasted by a dragon. Like, I, 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 my brain was constantly thinking out, like, this dragon can't possibly want to toast me by going near her, yeah? And, uh, no. But for some reason, I, you can actually kill that dragon right there. You think that's bad, right? Dark yeah, Souls it, yeah. 2, prepare to die edition. Right? I mean, Dark like, Souls 2, like the Scholar... Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. I swear to God, it's annoying. It's it's okay. it's much harder than the first one, in my opinion. I, yeah, I would assume so, because the de there's a death penalty. There is in the first one, too. What's in, oh, I know, but there's a permanent death penalty. You can't just get you can't just get it back, like your souls and whatever. Like, there's a huge death penalty. It, like, whittles no. down. Doesn't it? whittles it? down your health, but you can get back the souls. And you can get back your humanity, so you just get all that shit back. I know you can get all that shit back. Unless but, you um, fucking lose the humanity because you died again because you... Because <laughs> it took too long for you yeah, to get it. If you die, in like, two times in a row without picking up your souls, you, you're pretty much... You're pretty much fucked. Yeah, you're pretty much fucked. Especially if the if especially if those uh those souls that you had was like in the five thousands. Oh, I've done that. I hate uh, that by the so way, much. I'm I'm doing a first playthrough of Dark Souls just so I can make it easier on myself with commentating. I've gotten past the bell gargoyles. There are a whole lot worse bosses than that, trust me. I know, I know there are. I just found moonlit the I moonlit don't remember butterfly. correctly if Pudge is in Dark Souls One. I don't think so. But I did just find the Moonlit Butterfly. Or Moonlight Butterfly, or whatever. Oh, no. no. I don't I'm like it. I'm gonna mute my mic for a second. I gotta sneeze. Alright. I'm back. <laughs> I had to sneeze. <laughs> An alien yeah. Has anyway. Yeah, I have no idea what, it, what I'm Yay! supposed to be doing with the Moonlight Butterfly. Um, for those of you who don't know, my Star Wars mod isn't working because... For some reason, the mod creator decided let's not update the mod. Ah. Uh. And that's my big pet peeve with moderator with mods. It's like, oh yeah. Let's uh, let's make this mod and let's not update it. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I'm not going to war with them. Fuck that. They're way stronger than us. Oh, they're a fallen empire. That's why. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, you don't want to go to war with fallen empires. <laughs> Unless you're like a really huge faction. And can handle like the thousands of fleets. Like seriously, mm -hmm. fallen empires are the worst. <laughs> So, uh, how are you liking Dark Souls 1 so far? It's, it's very interesting, actually. I actually like it a lot. Um. Uh, the thing is, when I first played it, uh, I was, I was really confused a lot of the time. Because it doesn't really follow the same rules as a lot of video games do. Oh, yeah. Like, it, it does, doesn't. It doesn't give you, like, an easy way out. Besides, you know, the first boss you like to get, you literally have to get out, otherwise you're going to be fighting that that thing with the stump with the stump of the sword yeah and yeah no one really wants to do that my uh, uh before i played it my dad played and he told me like you that game doesn't tell you what to do the, the game doesn't give you many hints yeah it gives you barely any hints at all it, the only hints it gives you is uh to get away and how to use the controls it pretty much sets you out on your own at that yeah. point 
which I like about the game. I don't like just... games with extensive tutorials. Like, when I did my um, gameplay impressions of Guns Up, that was, like, my main pet peeve with the game when I reviewed it. It's, holy shit, this tutorial is wrong. It long. Hmm. Like, it was a long-ass tutorial. The fuck are my construction ships mm. going? No. Construction ship, what the fuck are you doing? My colony ship goes there. Colony ship, come here. Colony ship, come here! God oh, damn. Um, I'm looking for the planet... Looking for the system that just said it had a tropical world and really habitable. Now I can't find it. Damn you, Stellaris! Oh, by the way, the Asylum Demon, right? Mm-hmm. You can beat him. At the start of the game. I know, I, I do beat him, but with a normal sword. Did you somehow find a normal sword? No, I have to go. I have to go find the normal sword. You know, when you have to walk through that weird yeah. sort of cage door thing first before you can fight him. Oh, you have you met Oscar? Who? The dead guy who gives you shit and tells you to go check on the fucking fires and shit. Oscar? No, I don't think I have. I call him Oscar. Oh, you. Oh, you mean um, like the merchant in the undead burg. No. No. Oh. In um the asylum when you come across the dead have you not did you not come across that dead guy? I would no. have thought you would have came across that dead guy. Dude, dead guy's galore. <laughs> I came across many a dead guy. But now, I never I will came, warn came across you. this guy. I will warn you, right? Mm-hmm. Dark Souls 2 is also much more brutal than Dark Souls 1. Yeah. Now, Dark Souls 3 isn't really that much harder than Dark Souls 2. It's actually not harder at all. Mm. Now, if you're looking for some good Lovecraftian horror, um, I'd recommend Bloodborne. Highly. Mm. There's a lot of nods to Cthulhu and Neolithotep and people like that, and it's really cool. <laughs> and mind you, I read, I read these, I read this fucking shit because I think it's cool. So I can, I can reference quite a bit of the characters. Mm. Apparently, uh, Gemini just uh, doesn't really like Count Dankula very much. I don't even know who Count Dankula is. Oh, he's that YouTuber who got who got in trouble with the law because he made a Nazi joke with his dog. Oh yeah, that one place that likes to suppress freedom. Yeah, of speech. now he's now he's uh talking shit with uh Gemini. No, I mean. Yeah, he's not. He's not on Gemini's good side at all. Gemini keeps. Who, who really is friend. on his good side? They're like. He, I mean, I haven't pissed him off too much yet. Yeah, but what I mean is a lot of people have pissed him off. Then a lot of people are dicks. Like he's really a nice person. Yeah. Like, he'll sit there and, like, fucking listen to you word for word. Same with everyone else. Yeah. Yeah, he gave me, like, a wall of text one day because I asked him, like, Hey, dude, uh, what's up with these, uh, weird comments about, like, you be feeling like you're chained to the genre? Because mm, he'll talk to you. Like, it's, it's not like most YouTubers. Oh, yeah, you can't contact them because it'll distract them. Like, no offense to those kinds of YouTubers because I understand you're, like, really busy. Right, I understand YouTubers get busy, but mm -hmm. I think it's also important, extremely important even, to like try your best to reach out to fans as best as possible, fans in the community. Mm -hmm. Because it, because it's important to bridge that gap for many reasons. Mm -hmm. Like that's why both you and I made our Discord servers. Though I doubt my community, my Discord server is ever going to be used. Yeah. Hey, have you seen uh, that YouTuber, A Kind Ale War? A kind what? 
A kind ale war. It's an anagram for his real name. You've sent me... Like... You've sent me things... Like, videos related to him and stuff. Yeah, he's a big talking mugga ale. Yep. You've you, you shown me videos of that fuck. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty funny, isn't he? I didn't really watch too much of him, but I will agree, he is kind of funny. Yeah, he's Australian. He talks to Pyrocynical a lot. Another pretty funny guy is, um, I don't watch him too much, but it's fun when he streams Gemini. Sick the socially, the social inequality crusader. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty cool. Um. I mean, Whitey's pretty cool to an extent. Yeah. But I don't really like him very much. He's still, he's a little bit too, uh, on the edgy, trying to be edgy kind of thing. Well, I mean, that's because he's Whitey. Yeah. I mean, he's I literally he's called the white YouTuber. He has to be the whitest of the whitest. You can't be you can't be calling yourself the white YouTuber if you're not the whitest of the whitest. You have to be like fucking sour cream. <laughs> uh, you gotta be like Weird Al white. Yeah. Straight up friggin' Russian. <laughs> <laughs> Just be as pale as a Finnish man. His panel as I was before I started doing outside work. Hell, even when I do fucking, even when I fucking do work outside, I still get fucking, I'm still pale. All I get is sunburns instead of a fucking tan. No, I don't tan, I sunburn. <laughs> yeah. That's I used to sunburn, and then I was, and then my skin was like, nah, he's gonna be doing this for a while. He might, might as well, uh, not let him get sunburned anymore. <laughs> yeah, you see, that hasn't happened to me yet. Yeah. So, we have three people watching, it says. How long have we been streaming? We've been streaming for a good 43 minutes. Yeah. I'm watching cat videos and just bullshitting with uh, him. What? Yeah. This is honestly what we do. I mean, you should see, you should see some of our crazier moments. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, not, let's not show them that chirping. Dark Souls 2 video. Let's not show that. <laughs> Than that Dark Siders the Dark Souls 2 video. <laughs> Just me going Whoa, as Pudge eats me. <laughs> Flips yeah, me upside down. Mistake. Future me is telling me that was a mistake. <laughs> uh cause that was gonna be that was a mistake because that was gonna be an inside joke in the new Dark Souls series on your channel. <laughs> Speaking of which, um I'm gonna actually put his channel in the in the tingy down below. I'm also gonna put it in the description as well as chat. Hmm. I also have a Twitter notification. By the way, uh, Discord's been doing real weird shit recently, like today. <laughs> yeah, but that weird shit happens to me like all all the time with fucking Discord. Like that's no surprise yeah. to me. Yeah, it didn't. It it's my server, and uh, it's not letting me post in it. Yeah, we do that with the server I admin in. It's like yeah. um, I went to go post in it. It's like, huh? I don't have to. It's and the thing I can't is, is. Right and the thing is about Let it is, just, you know, uh... if you if you only talk on Discord, you can't really ask anyone if it's happening to them because it doesn't let you send fucking messages. So you can only assume, they can only assume, you, you probably think like they're only assuming you're dead. And. Or it's just happening to everyone else. And most of the time your, your thoughts are intrusive enough. In, intrusive, what? Intrusive enough to think that, that no, they just think you're dead. Oh, I forgot. I can't post links in my own fucking chat. Do me a favor, plug your link in the chat. Oh, okay. I put you in the description. Because for some reason, it won't let me post links in the chat. Because YouTube's a piece of shit. 
Yes, YouTube is a piece of shit, but it's got a lot of people on it, and I need yeah. them people. Need them people to see my shitty content. I need them people to see my shitty content. <laughs> my content's shittier than your content. <laughs> we just get on all ordered like, on whose content is shittier, so we start posting well, it really bad. Let me. We post really bad CSGO, but if you do it through mobile, it will. Okay, well, uh, I can't. It doesn't let me put it in Is the it chat. Is because you're not an admin, probably? Probably? Why didn't you make me an admin, huh? Because I have a bunch of admins already. Okay, night. Who, who else is watching? Us? <laughs> it's just not us really. two watching this. We got Terra... No oh, wait, we have that other dude. What was his name? Egg White Soup? I'm just waiting for like the after this. <laughs> oh, so so it's like if this if this video is like demonetized or something, and people just wait till after you if after you've probably gotten rid of the monetization issue. Well, it's not really that. It's the fake copyright claim issues I'm having when I uh, play uh, Mount the Scrolls Total War. That's why you haven't seen any Total War on my t channel. I mean, I straight up use copyrighted but music and video game, but I put a fair use uh thing in my fucking description i put a fair use thing there just so i don't end up getting sued or claimed so they know like I, that's why I, that's why in my last video i also put like um i mentioned that ethan ethan klein from h3h3 he fought for fair use and that i know he did and that i know what the fuck's yeah. up and i'm not fucking stupid at the same time when it comes to him he has a lot of questionable moments what ethan of course he does <laughs> It's like, you think PewDiePie has some questionable moments. Yeah. And Ethan then you see is H3. definitely... Ethan is definitely a little bit more on the on the unstable side. Now, the further down you go in the subscriber count, the more dirty and horrible they are. <laughs> like, Pyrocynical has only got, like, recently got 2 million. We got rags, and that's just self-explanatory. <laughs> that and then is we got Papa Walrus. Then we got Papa Walrus here. And then we got me. <laughs> it's just, I don't know who's a bigger asshole, you or me. Well. No. Let's, let's, I don't know who's not. a bigger asshole. You when you haven't had toffee or me when I haven't had any Dr. Pepper. Well, you see, I don't really drink coffee anymore. I actually just drink copious amounts of soda. <laughs> so you do what I do. Yeah, mainly because my, uh, my, <laughs> a can of soda is 50 cents, and a bottle of Starbucks, really shitty Starbucks coffee is like, what, two bucks? I fucking make my own coffee at home. I know, and I am too lazy for that. Not to mention the fact that, uh, well, let's just say, uh, I don't really, I'm, I'm too busy to, you make coffee? Four months before colonization is done on Marcat Prime. Let us look at our research once again. And to do some commentary here. 99 mo 98 months remaining on our cold fusion reactors. 32 months remaining on our leader lifespan of 10 years from vitality boosters. And 28 months uh, for our fractal fulgur pursuit frigates. And they are <laughs> the most annoying fucking thing because you can just pump them out for free. You can pump them hmm. out for free. Now it's just you and somebody else. Uh, then again, I'm waiting for the after stream when people actually fucking go and look at it. Because depending on how long I stream... Like, the longer yeah. I stream, the more oh, yeah, people like... watch. Yeah. Okay, so, um... I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but, my taco but I got tacos there, and, uh... I, I need my tacos, man. You're gonna get on stream, I don't mind. I can't eat my room. Well, that's fucking retarded. I know. Alright. Well, if, if, hello future people. Put one in the chat if, uh, if you have nothing to do, if you're bored and sit inside all day, but you're too fucking lazy to watch a couple hours of streams. Yeah, in the <laughs> comments down below, just say hi. <laughs> I might be back. I don't know, so I'm just gonna keep my. Keep myself muted in here. Alright. Alright. 
right, so we have a fallen empire right fucking here. We have these guys right here. These guys we can potentially fight. But I'm actually going to send this giant ship all the way over here. So this is a slow road. This is a slow road. Very slow road. Um. Okay. So nebula there. We can go look there. I'm just looking for alien life right now. It's a habitable world there, but I don't want to piss them off. There are three armies that and wait, what if hold on Why are we jackals but we have swords of sang Helios? No damn it. Let's put a transport out. I just tried to land him in a gas giant. That was that was bright of me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have to change the name of this. No, stop embarking! God damn it! Oh, can I not change this? We're not the Swords of St. Helios, though. What the fuck, mod author? I don't know why we're being called the Swords of St. Helios. Maybe, let's get a monk temple, and let's get a person with a glowing sword. No. Even though they do a shit ton of damage. So, so, so far, so good. Once we get this, we should be able to come over here, no problem anyway, and, like, bother these assholes. Because I'm telling you, these are overpowered. Um, this is Star Wars technology, but the thing with this is... After a period of a couple months, right? You get the... First off, you research it, you get it at your capital, right? And then after a couple months, you get it again. You can continuously research these and farm them. Now, the, all the rest of the AI can do it, too. Now, I don't want to fuck with the Deshad, so. I don't want to fuck with the Deshad. I don't feel like fucking with Fallen Empires right now. I'm already taking... Uh, I'm already taking enough risk as it is trying to fucking find life here By the way, I keep being told that hyperspace is uh, hyperspace is much faster But I'm not I'm not really seeing that Hyperspace doesn't really seem much faster than warp. In fact, it seems slower Sometimes it seems slower sometimes it seems the exact same speed but I'm being, I get people who say, oh, you know how I counter a warp? I hyperdrive past them, or something like that. I've seen that said. Alright, now you need to go away. Because you don't want them closing the borders on us. Yay, our leader died. Theory. Let's get this guy. Chen, let me know how you guys are liking the series so far. 
We have 19 months until our fractal pursuit frigates are done. Um, again, 86 months for cold fusion, and I don't know how long we're busy investigating these guys, which should take about yeah four months. Now, once we get done with this, they'll establish communications. Now, I'm going to hope they aren't hostile, because then I just have to pursue this way instead of going this way. So far, it's very slow. <clears throat> very, very slow. Also, I might be doing a Star Wars Empire at War video tomorrow if you guys want that. I might also be doing a Stardew Valley live stream because, um, why not? You know, a nice early Stardew Valley live stream. Um, because I'm gonna take the time this weekend and this week to try and live stream, even though, um, the people, the uh, Pe the per people that run my classes basically took away my Thanksgiving break, <laughs> which is kind of annoying, but I don't mind it too much because, I mean, I can just disregard it because I keep being told I'm not doing this, but I'm actu I am actually am, which is hilarious. It's like, it's like if I were to go, if I were to bump up, if I were to get enough firepower to take these guys out and then it, the game still registers it's there. It's like hit registration, but school-wise and it's assignments. <laughs> It's like my classes are like the CSGO of the of the school world. An alien empire has established the Sith hierarchy. Oh yay. Yeah, they my oh shit they're big. These guys we can fight, however. Like these guys we can fight. This is not the actual race. Um, they are militarists, and they're fanatic authoritarians. Um, they're imperialist. Fertility preacher, fleet organizer, fortifier, and you are way better than we are. However, I'm hoping the Factal Fursuit Frigates can actually help us with that. Because I'm honestly looking for an ally right now. That's what I'm looking for the most. That's what I want the most. Like, I'm looking for an ally. <laughs> if I can find an ally, then these guys and these guys won't be too much of a problem. Especially if I end up going maybe over here. Or sometime cutting through here or something like that. If I end up going through, like, if I end up getting a faction that's behind them somehow, that would be amazing. Because of the fact that they'd be sandwiched on two fronts. I wonder if we're gonna get the Jedi here. I mean, I'd rather be friends with the Sith than be friends with the Jedi. Because the Sith will be a lot more prosperous for me. That, and I could just take them over right after the fucking war. It's like, we take over the system, and I just like, boop, 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 just take them over because of how weakened they would be. Well, we're finding a lot of habitable planets over here. Well, potentially habitable planets. Hold on. Again, I, I want to emphasize how beautiful this game is. Look at that. I don't know what's better, that or this. Look at this. This game is just so beautiful. I, I love the neutron stars and the pulsars. And you learn shit about science that you normally wouldn't learn in actual science class. Damn, we're finding more and more fucking... 
potentially habitable worlds. Currently, I am just looking for a, um... I am just looking for a, a teeny. Another faction. Maybe to help out with these assholes. You know, I don't think, um... I don't think all the factions... I think it would take, like, all the factions at once at an early stage to actually be able to take these guys on. So we have these guys who hate us. They don't hate us that much. It's just because we're spiel tourists. They have trade deals going with more unidentified empires. Which means there has to be somebody right here. Maybe. Right here. Right here. It has to be someplace near them. I'm going to do a trade deal. I will give you, right? And I want star charts. An alien empire has established communications. What star charts does, it, it um, it tells us what they know, basically. They have stuff going on unknown empires. We want to know what those empires are. Oh, we got, like a, we got a good trade deal with them. So, yeah, now we have to investigate even more aliens. Which I am okay with. If I can find a good ally. If I can find a good ally to take on the Sith, I'm perfectly fine. Because the Sith are a powerful faction. They're not too much more powerful, but they're pretty, they're pretty, they're pretty more powerful. If I still had, um, wait, is that a, did, hold on, was that one of the EU Sith Lords? Hold on, no, yeah, actually, yeah, it's an EU Sith Lord, look at that. Uh, EU Sith Lords, scary motherfuckers. Yeah, so I'm just communicating with aliens, seeing what's in the galaxy. Um, I know you guys have a lot... Yeah, you guys know a lot more about me. But I'll get to your star charts later. Because I just want somebody to go to war with the Sith against. Especially after we get the fractal um, frigates. Because they're amazing vessels to have. Even though they're Star Wars tech. They're amazing vessels. Now, how long have we been streaming? And am I having any issues? I'm not. We have been streaming for a full hour. No problems. This means a stream might come tomorrow. Present the United Bruggen Confederation, our elected leader, commissary general, whatever, hoped for peaceful relationships, which are peaceful. No, we're, okay. And these guys. Oh. <laughs> peaceful nation, ju justify, ruled by our beloved protector, whatever grievances, blah, blah, blah. That's these guys right here, who are already at war with the Sith, right here. They don't like us, though, for some odd reason. Our bombardment policy. Oh, uh, you guys are authoritarian. But you're path pacifist. You also don't like us. So, new contact. I'm sure that we can get these guys to like us. Especially if we want to go to war with the Sith. Like, these guys are at war with the Sith. And they're much more powerful than I am. Actually, they're not more powerful than the Sith. <laughs> oh, no. That's just a frontier outpost. Oh, the Sith are going to get pissy. Yeah, that's what I worried about when building frontier outposts. That and my, um, my influence. What's Markab Prime doing? I'm um, colonizing planet pretty, pretty well.
Um, strong magnetic field. Waiting for this to get done. Come on. I also want to build a spaceport. Laser module. Build spaceport. And that has increased our naval capacity. However. We need to manage. Sectors. Why can't we put Martab in that sector? Now let's go to sectors, recruit. Let's do this. Achilles Prime. Let's get an orbital hydroponics farm on you first. Because we have plenty of power, but we don't have a lot of food. Three people watching. Hmm. I will have you know I'm exhausted, by the way. So, <laughs> I'm really tired. Yeah, early Stardew Valley stream tomorrow. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. Yes! Now we can get these antimatter missiles. And then, hopefully, we can get um, the next after that, which are quantum missiles, which are terrifying. Very terrifying. <laughs> Leader is gained a trait. Awesome. Let's see. What else is there out here? I'm really trying to look for a faction. It may or may not be over here. Where are you? Research projects in the system. My, uh, my quest for new life isn't going so well. Maybe, maybe I'll do Empire at War, actually. I don't know what I'll do tomorrow. I know I'm going to be playing some Guns Up. I might actually play some Total War, because I know that's, like, a more popular series on my channel, is Total War. But, like, I was getting false copyright claimed. Now, if you guys don't know what a Dashad is, a Dashad is an EU droid. It's a Sith droid um, of the Sith Empire during the old, old Republic. Like, during the time of Revan, or afterwards, or actually before Revan. Before Darth Revan. And they had the ability to feed off Force energy. They, were, they had the ability to consume Force sensitives. And they actually worked for a Sith Lord called Tulak Horde. So these guys are not to be messed with. <laughs> I 
You wanna if this is all like free reign, okay then. Um, hmm. no trap of a world there. Ooh, a hostile fleet. Is it pirates? Yeah, it's pirates. It's so fucking. 1.9k fleet, isn't it? Yep. Fucking Mandalorians! Fuck off! Okay. Fucking Mandalorians, god damn it. <laughs> Fucking need to get out of here. I hate Mandalorians sometimes. Especially in this fucking mod. It's so annoying because they're everywhere. Like the Mandalorians are everywhere. So it's it's annoying. It's it's bad. It's increasingly it just gets increasingly more stupid. Oh, I keep doing that. <laughs> okay. It's a research project there. Crystal Codex. How are you doing with this research project here? We're 60% done with it. We still need to contact. We don't need to contact any more aliens. So I'm going to go to you. I'm gonna offer a trade deal. <sighs> Hold on. Is this just patrolled by a ring of pirates? It is. <sighs> Fucking hell. Fucking Mandalorians. Okay, offer a trade deal. Give me, give me some fat energy credits, right? Give me some fat energy credits, right? Ooh, I really don't want that. Now I want star charts. What if I give you star charts? You know, you will not do that. You're just dicks. Offer a trade deal. I might actually just ally with the Sith. So they seem to actually be nice to me. Can I have some star charts? Her star charts. Active sensor link for an active sensor link. Research. No, you do not want a research agreement. What if I give you a research agreement? Nope. All right. Well, this should be good. Alright. Confirm. Active sensor links let me know what they have. Um, let me do uplift. These edicts are expensive. So now you can... Research these assholes. I might ally with the Sith against these guys. I don't like these guys and I don't like these guys. But the Sith have been nice to me, surprisingly. Um, they don't have very big fleets. An 800 fleet. That's a fucking huge fleet. Ah, <laughs> oh, and they're using the wormhole travel for some odd reason? Okay. Alright. <laughs> Thought I would, wouldn't use it in hyperspace, but you do you, Sith. So we're getting five food. We're actually getting plenty of resources. And our research for our cold fusion reactors is almost done. 
in fact, I might go as far as to get an even bigger fleet. Let me get some more lawgivers and a cruiser. This is one of the few times I've actually been able to successfully build a fleet because I've actually been given enough space to actually like thrive. The Empire has established communications. Okay, that scared me for a second. <laughs> I saw Golden Foundation. I'm like, oh god, no. Uh, I saw a golden foundation and it scared the hell out of me. Because I was like, oh no, not Haster. Anything but Haster. So let's actually get when we can. Yeah, we are actually getting quite a well-off fleet. A nice early game, well-off fleet. Yes! You guys are going to love this. Watch how much fleet power this motherfucking thing is. Watch how much fleet power this is. I'm not even kidding. This is like a crazy amount of fleet power. It's 700 months, but it's worth it. It is extremely... Actually, no, it's not even 700 months, 700 days. But it is worth it. Like, it's a while, but it's worth it, I assure you. Uh, if it were 700 months, I wouldn't do it. Are you doing anything else now? So you go here. Is it here? Shoot, forget. There was a really derelict ship. Crystal Codex. Go research that. <laughs> All right, so how are we doing here? Oh, 1.1k fleet. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to move you so you're like here. First off, let's upgrade you to the latest designs as well. That's gonna... Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna take a bunch, isn't it? No, it's really has already been upgraded. Oh, you're waiting for the spaceport. Because you got the unrelenting class to deal with. <laughs> Oh wait, no, before you upgrade, before you upgrade, stop, before you upgrade, we need to go to the ship designer, and we need to deal with our cruiser, we still only have fusion missiles, which isn't too bad. Now we have also have better thrusters. We don't have better combat computers. We do not have better combat computers. It kind of sucks. Destroyers are okay. Corvettes are okay. Now, combat computers actually do something, by the way. Like, they actually do something. 
Yeah, we actually may see our first war within the next live stream. But I'm not just gonna live stream Solaris. No, no, no. That's now it's a 1.5k fleet. Probably at like one o'clock we'll end this off. How long have we been streaming? We've been streaming for a good hour. Almost an hour and a half. You know, maybe 12.30, maybe even 1 o'clock my time. We'll end this off. Yeah, I'm waiting for this full gore to get done. Because I'm telling you, it's, it's really overpowered. <laughs> How is this research progress here going? How are you doing? You're not even fucking researching yet. Jeez, you're slow. Not to give you better thrusters. Hold on. Ship designer. I don't even think you have. You don't even have deflectors. Really nice engines, really nice scanners, and you're a science ship. This is the glorious advanced class, and you have some sh yitty. Some of this crystal codex. So let's actually have you um, go upgrade. I want you guys to fucking upgrade. You go upgrade. I forgot, because I have a spaceport there. Do I have a spaceport over at Fort Cab? I do. I'm actually going to get us more food. No, not a solar panel network. Orbital hydroponics farm. But yeah, we may see our next war within the next live stream. Who do you think we should go to war with? We can go to war with these guys. Who are they're not completely overwhelming. Their fleet power is, but their naval capacity isn't. It's just superior. These guys are... Ooh, these guys are pathetic, though. They're rivals with somebody and they have closed borders with a lot of people. But they like us. Oh, that's these guys. I selected the wrong one. You guys like me. You guys are being fucking overlorded by these assholes. Who don't like me. And yours is actually overwhelming. I can like fucking free you guys if you want. seem okay. And we have even more naval capacity now. Oh no, it was just a fleet upgrade. Now, I want to get to um, uplifting these guys. I don't think I can, actually. But yeah, do you want to see a war of liberation for these guys? Yeah, because these guys are still stronger than me. 
But I think with the help of the Sith, who kind of actually like me, we should be good. Like, we should be perfectly fine. Oh, for your trade deal, we're gonna give you a little gift. Okay, so I can just farm you with it like 10 energy credits and I should be good. I'm gonna keep doing it too. Oh, are they a fallen empire? Nope, they're pretty strong. I still want to ally with them. Definitely. I'm waiting for that Fulgore to get done. Come on, Fulgore. 130 days. Still waiting for it. It's almost done. 100 days. And that the state of our big ass galaxy seems actually it's a pretty small galaxy. Sith hierarchy seem like our best plan for an ally. These guys don't hate us too much. Actually, yeah, you guys are okay with us. And you're protective of us. So I'm going to form a non-aggression pact with you. Yeah. See, those guys actually like me. And they're pretty, pretty powerful. Yeah, they're only superior, but still. Alright, this is a countdown, this is a countdown, we gotta see this. You'll see why in a minute. So. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, that went fast, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh oh. No. Stellaris. Oh, never mind. Look at this. This one ship is bigger than my entire fleet. I'm just gonna grab you. But yeah, this guy, like, this dude here has more attack power than my entire fleet. And you can have, like, four of those. Yeah, but we have been streaming for quite a while. It's been a, a good hour and a half. I'm actually going to let you guys go. I'm going to um, end the stream here. It was fun. It was very fun. Um, I enjoyed actually doing the stream. It's helped me get my mind off of things. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next live stream. If you like what I do here on the channel, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button actually helps me out. And I'm going to go to sleep because I'm kind of tired. <laughs>